Hi, I'm Lauren Bregesser, the audio professor. I'm gonna show you how you can use your computer's keyboard as a MIDI controller. Usually I have a MIDI controller in my home studio. I have a Novation, I have an Ableton Push 2, but sometimes I take my laptop somewhere and I wanna enter in chords or play a drum beat or something like that. And so the Ableton Live feature where you can use your computers as a MIDI keyboard is pretty great. Um, it's very easy to engage. All I need to do is either press this button up top which engages the computer MIDI keyboard, or I can press the M key on my keyboard and it will actually engage that. So I can toggle that on and off quite easily. So that's the M key. So once I do that, the middle row of buttons on my keyboard, the A through L become a scale. So if I start playing these on my blank session here, it, you can see that it's launching, it's sending MIDI information to that track. I can see that both in the track and in the upper right hand corner with the MIDI monitor. So I know that it's working. So I'm just gonna grab a piano track on here and drag it in here. So again, in the key of C, if I just hit you know, A through K, I have a, a C scale. Now, so that's A through K and L gives you another high D on top of that. And so if you're a piano player, you can picture where the sharps would be. So the W would be a C sharp. The E would be a D sharp. Nothing on the R and then TYU. So you can do a whole chromatic scale there from C to D. So an octave and two half steps. So a lot of times you may want to drop the octave. So the two buttons, the Z and the X below those, those are the bring those will lower an octave or bring it up an octave. So I want to lower an octave. I hit the Z key once, and then I have this. I can bring that back up with the X button. All right, now they will all play at the consistent velocity or the loudness of the sound oftentimes. And you can adjust that with the two keys next to the Z and X, C and V. So C will lower the velocity and, and V will bring it up. So this is just the default velocity here. If I hit the C key twice, it'll bring it down and I have this. Bring it back up. Bring it up a couple times. And that's the maximum velocity that's on there. I'm gonna bring it back down to, I believe, 100. So it defaults to 100 velocity on there, and you can bring that up and down. So this is a handy way of playing keys and stuff like that. Now, if you want to uh, play in a different key, what I usually wind up doing is I'll go to the MIDI effects and just go to pitch, and I can drop that pitch just on that same track from the MIDI effects. And then I can bring things up and down. So say I wanna play in the key of A major. So I can do that, that's three half steps down. So I just bring the pitch down, three half steps. So you can do that, although it will record on that track in the key of C, you can also then manually bring it down inside that clip and I'll show that in a separate video. So hopefully this helps you get you up and running and I will show you how to do this with drum tracks in my next video. Thanks for watching.